Hey folks, it's Masterpiece. And today I wanted to make a top five TVC figures of 2023 video. I saw a lot of content creators making their top fives and I thought I might as well make one. This year has been an amazing year for the vintage collection and Star Wars fans in general with a lot of new media coming out for the series is a great time to be a Star Wars fan. So, hey folks. So before the video starts, I wanted to let you know that I started a Patreon. There are three tiers for you to choose from. The first membership tier being the $3 general supporter tier. All of these proceeds will go towards making videos on my YouTube channel, upkeep of my website, and action figure customs, along with a shout out page at the end of each of my YouTube videos. The second tier is the $5 cosplay fan supporter membership where you'll have a separate shout out page at the end of each video, access to the gallery of all my cosplay pictures as soon as they're edited and uploaded, voting polls, sneak peeks, help with cosplay builds that I've made in the past, and behind the scenes videos. The third and final tier is a $10 master supporter tier where you'll have early access to Master Lab YouTube videos, voting polls, sneak peeks, behind the scenes, a separate shout out page at the end of each video, first in line to buy Master Lab projects as soon as they're made available to sell, and more. This is the ultimate Master Lab experience with the opportunity to work alongside me on future Master Lab projects. If you were impressed by the AT-AT, just wait and see what we have planned next. So join the Master Lab team, and I appreciate all of you. Now onto the video. I'm going to start it off with uh, number five on this list and it's going to have to go to General Harrison Dula. This figure didn't come with a lot of accessories, uh, not too much going on with this figure other than, I mean, obviously great articulation, great uh, paint apps, the likeness. This figure is just fantastic. There's going to be a lot more use with this figure, with the body mold, I'm sure. Uh, I'm okay with that because that figure is just uh, an amazing vintage collection figure. All the paint apps, the deco on the jacket looks amazing. The patches on there look Fantastic. There was some QC issues with this figure. Some people were getting theirs without uh, any paint apps on their patches, stuff like that. Uh, so some of the paint apps were missing. But other than that, a uh, phenomenal figure here. In fifth place goes to General Harrison Dula from the Ahsoka series. Great card back as well. All right, in at number four is one of my favorite Mandalorians. Obviously, Amando had to make it onto this list because I am just a huge fan of Mandalorians in general. And that is Pre Vizsla. The deluxe version of this figure is uh, amazing. This is a completely new mold. Comes with a lot of great accessories. The flame effects for the jetpack. You could put the Gatling gun onto the jetpack if you don't want to pose him with firing that blaster. He comes with the vibro knife and also comes with the shield that attaches right there onto his gauntlet. The paint apps are pretty decent. It does look a little, it does look like it's missing something. Probably some weathering, looks too clean. Uh, that's the only reason why it made it this low onto the top five list. But other than that, it's a great figure. You could pose him very easily, great articulation. And with the amount of accessories that this figure came with, you can't really complain. This is just an all around amazing figure. So that's number four. So number three on my list has to go to Cad Bane. I'm just so happy that this guy made it into the vintage collection. 
you might notice that all of these on the list so far are pretty much all new sculpts and Hasbro has been doing an amazing job with you know making these new sculpts there is hardly any if any reuse on this figure the accessories that came with it is just the hat and the two pistols that are in his holsters right now but it is a great figure it looks amazing the paint apps are great the card back image was fantastic this figure is just top tier right here probably one of the better things to come out of the book of boba fett getting him back into live action seeing him in live action was phenomenal i especially liked how they sculpted the trench coat to kind of veer off to the side here a little bit so that he could he could kind of pose him taking out his pistol out of his holster you can take the hat off just an amazing figure so that is number three on my list of top five tvc figures we're gonna move on So the next one shouldn't surprise too many people. I mean, this figure was previously released a few times and every time that it was released, people just went crazy for it. It's going to be the Re Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader. This figure came with an amazing card back image. The soft goods on the figure are amazing. The accessories are fantastic you get the lightsaber hilt the ignited lightsaber you can take his helmet off it's a three-piece removal there's the other way it can remove and you could also take his arm off so he has a severed arm just like in the movie return of the jedi the articulation is fantastic. So the first time we've saw, we've seen this mold was when Hasbro released the Kenobi series, Dark Times Vader. Again, an amazing figure. The same body mold here, just not as many accessories. The helmet is not removable, but that is absolutely fine because each time Hasbro released that mold, things just got better so we got the dark times vader then we got the return of the jedi darth vader and then last but not least we got another kenobi series vader and that was the duels end darth vader i want to say uh, that was the two pack that came with the uh, kenobi uh, that one was a more battle damaged darth vader and that one was an exceptional release as well. Very happy with that release. So can't go wrong with this figure. If anybody out there is looking for a vintage collection action figure, if you're a Darth Vader fan, or if and you're starting to collect, definitely pick up the Return of the Jedi Darth Vader. Easy to pose him, easy to stand. The soft goods are amazing all around an amazing figure right here so the only reason that this figure didn't make it on my number one list is because of the next one that i'm going to talk about that i was so excited when is when it was announced but we'll get to that so before we get on to my number one choice of TVC figures for 2023 I wanted to mention some honorable mentions all right so first on this honorable mentions list for me has to go to chopper the paint apps on this guy are awesome the fact that you could just articulate this guy however you want just 
so cool how you could just move the head side to side just like in the animated series it's awesome the arms are articulated comes with a extra antenna that's kind of bent over to the side and another accessory to go with him uh, there is some scuff marks and some dirt and grime on him so it looks absolutely fantastic one of my favorite releases I mean there's not much of a figure to be honest he's pretty small but what they gave us is amazing big fan of this chopper right here so that's the first one on the honorable mentions list the other one has to go to the deluxe sabine wren for me she came with a lot of great accessories i'm sure everybody appreciated the loth cat that's probably one of the main reasons why they wanted the sabine wren However, the thing that uh, kind of messed this release up was the removable helmet. I was not a fan of it. The helmet that I have on her now is a custom resin printed helmet that I painted. But other than that, the amount of accessories that came with her was just amazing. The bag, the uh, West Art 35s. Uh, Ezra's lightsaber everything was amazing the paint apps on her are awesome like Hasbro is not known for their uh, use of paint they want to cut corners as much as possible when it comes to paint but they did a great job with this release this Sabine Wren uh, using all like all different kinds of colors to get the armor correctly was just phenomenal so that one, this one just missed the uh, top five for me. The next one on the honorable mentions list is Pre Vizsla. This figure is absolutely amazing. We knew this guy was coming along with Django Fit that just got announced not too long ago uh, because we did get the. Uh, Death Watch and the uh, Super Commando body mold. So that's pretty much what we have here. It's just basically those releases. Other than that, we do get some great accessories with him as well. Paint apps are great. Uh, the helmet mold is brand new along with the jetpack. Pre had a very unique jetpack. Looks like a very old old republic era jetpack to me and that's what i like about this character same with the helmet but uh the only reason that it didn't make it onto the top five list was because well it's reuse and if you haven't noticed already all of the ones in the top five for me so far have been uh, new body molds hardly any a little reuse uh, other than the return of the jedi vader but that one was just so amazing i had to include it onto the top five for me and now the moment that you guys have been waiting for probably a surprise to no one has to be the release of revan we have Jedi Knight Revan and Darth Revan. Obviously for me, it's going to have to go to Darth Revan, but it's the same body mold, more or less. The only differences here are pretty much the chest leather piece, paint apps on that. Jedi Knight Revan does not have a cape, and obviously Darth Revan has black robes, black cape, all that kind of thing. All that all those kinds of things so this figure is absolutely amazing i know back in i want to say 2019 2020 hasbro was planning on reissuing an old mold of darth revan but uh we weren't going to take that this figure is 
so iconic, so beloved by so many fans of the Star Wars franchise that uh, we decided to say it's either you release him as a new body mode or don't release him at all. And I'm glad that uh, Hasbro listened because you can't get any better than this. I mean, this is awesome. I bought, literally bought multiples of these because of how excited I was for this release. The Knights of the Old Republic title on the top there is great. The uh, card back art is amazing. The amount of accessories, I mean, I don't think you could add any more accessories to him other than the two lightsabers. So, just a fantastic figure. The only thing that could have made this better is if it was VC300, but I'm not gonna complain about that because uh, everything, just about everything, is perfect on this figure. I'm so happy that they released him and glad that we finally got a great Darth Revan in the Vintage Collection line. So that's about it for this video. Uh, it has been quite an amazing year for the Vintage Collection and an even better year for uh, the Star Wars fan base. Like I said before, we've got a lot of new media in the franchise, so so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope to make new videos for this upcoming year, 2024. I have a lot of great stuff planned for not just vintage collection stuff, but cosplay videos and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below what were your top fives. I want to hear your top fives in the comment section down below. And what other videos do you want to see from me coming going into 2024? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, that's it for this video. Peace.